I'm better at falling over than I am at parkour. This week, we're going to be watching my best fails. I'm going to tell you how much they hurt, what happened, and how long it took me to recover. You'll be surprised with some of the answers. Quick update on the ribs. It is getting better. I'm back to regular exercise and light training, but I wanted to give it more time before I start doing high intensity action. I think I've made more of an impact with my fail clips in my time than I have with some of my movement ones. Let's watch. Oh! You good? It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Strongest man alive. Thanks, Bailey. Thanks, Bailey. I uh, don't feel like it sometimes. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that face of joy. I am happy about slamming my leg into a wall. Pain scale. That was about a 7 out of 10. It didn't feel like 7 instantly, but it definitely became a 7 out of 10. I was really excited because I was in LA, Verky was there, we were at this influencer house of the world's biggest trampoline and of course I just go out the back and try to flip the pool and completely body it. It ended up knocking out the entire LA trip for me action wise, it took me 20 days to recover and I flew home on the 21st day. Ta da! <laughs> That's probably the worst one. Eric, first on scene. Dominic, you will pay my brother. What a hero. Big up, Eric. My only feelings coming out was like, I think I broke my wrist. I didn't even think about the concussion. I didn't think about the fact that I'd actually fractured my skull. I, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, most of the guys there were like, you should be dead. Pain scale was only like a 5 out of 10 when I hit the deck. But then after I tried to get up off my wrist, as you can see here, it just definitely became like an 8 out of 10. And by the time I was going down the mountain to the hospital, my pain was like up to a 9. It was pretty serious. That only took me a week till I was back training. I came home, I had the surgery, spent a week on my mate's couch and just went out to the apes jump off eight days later and started training. Chilling for... The worst fail ever. All right, here we go. I came out so lucky. You're right. Yeah. As I said, I came out so lucky. Pain scale, two out of ten. Didn't really feel anything. I was flip over, bang, done. The funniest thing is, behind Toby, there is a entire Red Bull crew. Six amazing athletes, three amazing cameramen. Just a lot of people who I admire, and they all just watched me do the first shot of this project and just fall completely on my ass. But I was fine. I got up. I uh, was training for the rest of the day. Did a big dive front that's in the project. My hand had, like, a lump on it, like a cow's udder, like here. It was a little bit restricted, but other than that, Got away with it. All right, let's see what we got. That's so funny, I'm so safe. <laughs> I was like, you don't want to hit the rock, so I just... I get asked about this one so much. People are always like, how? How were you fine? That's the sketchiest thing you've ever done. Because what you might not be able to see... That's so funny, I'm so safe. <laughs> is in front of me, there's a rock. Like... You don't want to hit the like rock. What I was trying to do was land a little bit further in and roll between this tiny little crevice. It was already super risky and somehow I made it worse by overshooting it, compressing into the rock, body lined around the rock. I somehow managed to like trace it with my body and not hit it in any way. And pain scale, zero. I had no pain. I was completely fine. I was training for the rest of the day. <laughs> There's people down there as well. They would have just seen him just fly and fall. I, I can't even imagine what their perspective was, but it should have been brilliant. Just someone literally dropping from the sky. And, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm not even hurt. It's, it's just like moved the dirt out from under me. <laughs> Look how much dirt is on my face, man. Oh, there's like an unreasonable amount of dirt on my face. But yeah, see, I continued training. Oh, shit did that drop, I wiggled a bit in the soft dirt. It was noticeably more uncomfortable than the front flip, which it shouldn't have been. Perfect. Hit this Kong front pre to the rail, exactly what I wanted to do, but it was a little bit archy. So I was like, you know what? I'll try it a few more times. 
I mean, it's a really good Kong front dive roll. It's just not at all what I wanted to do. Four out of ten. It didn't hurt that much because it's a rounded rail and I managed to get enough momentum forwards that I was diving. But yeah, really, I just wanted to clean it up. I should have just taken the win. That little bit of greed bit me in the ass. Well, bit me in the hips. Depends how you look at it. I was only out three days from this one. Pretty successful. I'm actually okay. I don't know how the fuck I'm fine, but I just managed to get enough forwards. See, ball dom spec, short hair dom spec. This was one of the first fails, I think it's like 2012. It's one of the first fails where I realized like I could just take a big hit like that and continue training throughout the day. Pain scale was two out of 10. Uh, back slam on the dirt, got up, smiling, happy, chipper. It was really just a case of I was trying to keep up with the guys who were a little bit bigger size jump than I was. And when I got to the ledge, it was just a little undershot, so I had to crane it. And the only reaction was to throw my chest forward. Does your spot ever have too much bush? Well, worry not, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. With over 10 million happy adventurers, Manscaped will turn your spot from a B to a G. It all starts with the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra with the brand new Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra Electric Trimmer. If you want more precision than Marcio Felipe, look no further than the Lawn Mower 5.0. It's got next gen dual skin safe blade heads. The upgraded blade is longer, wider, and has more rounded teeth. But here's the real game changer, the foil blade. Designed to leave an extremely close and polished finish. It's like two trimmers for the price of one. It's got a bigger LED light and dual temperature control. All that, and it's still waterproof. If you got bats in the cave, the Weed Whacker 2.0 is just for you. It's waterproof, wireless, and rechargeable with skin safe technology built right in. For an added layer of freshness, introduce the Crop Soother and the Crop Preserver to your routine to keep the funk at bay. When you purchase the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, you'll receive two free gifts, a pair of specially designed boxer briefs and the new Shed 2.0 to organize your toys. Head over to manscaped.com and get your hands on the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. Use this code to get international free shipping 20% off and two free gifts using this code at manscaped.com. Ah, yes. So, wooden floor on scaffolding. Best thing about that was Toby Seeger comes up and just pops his head through the crowd and he's like, mate, should have codied. <laughs> disappears. And that was like within a minute of me having the fail. Yeah, if it wasn't wooden floor on scaffolding, I think I would have had a totally different outcome. This one did mess me up for a couple of weeks and the pain scale was 10 out of 10. I hit the deck and it's all like ringing and they're like, and there's like distortion going on. But my internal programming from ice skating was like, finish your run. That was pretty bad actually, because I split my chin. I really hurt my right knee. I hurt my right big toe by bashing into the ground. I had three weeks until the Art of Motion that year, which is like parkour's biggest competition. Red Bull Art of Motion is the highest profile free running and parkour competition in the world. I did my first day of training the day before the qualifier competition in Santorini. Somehow made it through. Still to this day, I have some cartilage in my knee pops up when I go into bend or hold position. Dios mío. Está bien? Yeah, I just This one's less fun because it doesn't look that crazy, but this is one of the worst injuries I've sustained uh, from any of these big tricks. I jammed my left ankle into the ground and like twisted it and didn't get it seen to, didn't have MRIs, no recovery was properly done with physiotherapy. And still to this day, it restricts my left ankle's movement. When I, when I did the preps, I was in the right position and I was getting the right arc. For my for my double front but then when i went to do it my chest was a little bit far forward so the first rotation didn't have the right axis and then i was really coming down at a 45 degree angle for the second rotation instead of like a rainbow yeah you can't win them all i would always been dreaming of doing that double front so i don't regret it in any way still to this day it's never never been the same he broke something yeah. That scream is so embarrassing. 
definitely broke something, I think. Okay, how do I help yeah, you out? Yeah, broken. Okay. Oh, the fuck? That's but I always love the instant transition between, ha, ha! Oh, I think I broke my ankle. Oh, oh. I'll just go back to my normal demeanor again about things. Oh, it's fine. Most people didn't consider a fail, but because I did fracture my foot, I considered it to be a fail. It, it took me out of training. I was three months before I could like perform back on my feet to a substantial level. So this one to me is one of the worst injuries I've ever sustained, even though it was minor on the fail scale. Sucks. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't pretty. As far as pain on the initial impact, seven out of 10, it was just a really uncomfortable sensation. It felt like the pavement under me had like folded in, the sensation was. It was odd and uncomfortable. Wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, really. Oh, silly, silly, silly. Oh, my, my leg slipped out. It's okay though, it's just a little like, compression. Yeah, it was, uh, it was quite a bit of compression actually, like an accordion on my rib cage. But Joe and I have been practicing like, pole maneuvers this early in like 2019 and one of the ones was you hook your legs and then roll down like we see in a lot of pole dancing just thought it would work on this slanted one because you can roll back onto it a little bit easier what i didn't realize is if you go under you just fall straight on your head pain scale was high it's like eight out of ten for this one this one really like it hurt way more than some of the bigger crashes i was all right i, I think just like again one night rest and then it was a little uncomfortable the next day, and that's it. I've been falling over for so long and taking hits for so long that they really don't feel as substantial anymore as they used to. Three, two, one. Should not have been okay. Oh yeah! Oh. Hit my head a little bit on the on the roll, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Mate, I should not have been okay. I definitely should not have been fine. That was again end of 2021. I was really pushing my barriers and pushing my level on a regular basis, and I just got away with that one. Uh, pain scale immediately was like seven out of ten. Like the slam was like oof. And I thought I was gonna be worse off. I like tapped my head, but I got into the roll position. I only came away with a bruised hip. But yeah, I cleared the wall by way further than I thought I was going to, and managed to just get my heels on the edge, slip down into the roll position. And within four days, I remember trying Kong front arm at another spot. Um, I was completely fine. One of the ones that I should not have walked away from, but somehow I was okay. And see this guy at the end here? He's just one of the residents and he saw me prepping and he started talking to me and turns out he's a videographer for Red Bull and so he got that bottom shot for me and without him that wouldn't have that clean documentation of how I came down and got out of it. Big up that guy and big up to all of you for watching me fall on my face this long. And because I've fallen over so much I think I've earned that like. Just, just tap it, smack it with your head, fall into it, do what you do, say hi to your mum for me. Oh yeah. And I will be making a video about what happened to my rib. The fail is actually worse than any of the ones that were in this video. Would you believe it? I'm going to make a whole video breaking that down in a couple of weeks. Hit subscribe. Coming to you soon.